your home organized starts with the closets. If you feel like there's never enough storage space in your home, don't we all? <laughs> we are about to change that. Get ready for some great storage solutions on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. As an interior designer, I think there is nothing more important to a home than a perfectly organized closet because it makes life and finding things a little easier. Today, we'll look at maximizing storage in any type of closet, increasing storage space with a seamless wardrobe, installing closet systems that adjust as life changes, and so much more. So I wanted to share with you guys for the first storage space, a room that I recently created for myself, but I think it's a room that anyone could do in their home, and that is the glam room. So what this is, is a spare den or area that I've converted not only into a closet, but also an area that I can get ready in. And I have a makeup vanity, I've got a seated area, I've got a TV, but it's not just that. In this past year, I think it's been really important to have rooms in our home that are convertible. Let me share with you what I did to maximize storage in here. This room before was basically, so this was a, an area of the wall where there's pipes. This isn't a condo. So there's some, some areas where there's probably pipes and things that run in there. I cannot remove this. So working with what was here, I noticed there was a recessed area on each side. Whenever you see a recessed area that's at least 12 inches deep, that is a great space to carve out for shelving. So that's what I did here. I had, so I did 16 inches deep of shelving. 16 inches is enough for shoes, bags, just about anything. And of course I made it so it was adjustable. Some people like to have fixed shelves, but if you really want to be able to live with your space and grow with your space, adjustable is always the way to go because of course the things you're going to store are going to change. I could change this room back into a den in time and might want to put books on here. So, having adjustable heights to your shelving is key. I want to show you, I order accessories that boutiques use, and you could find these online so inexpensive. Simple plastic pieces that allow you to get that boutique-like feel. I've used a bunch of different risers for levels. This is another favorite. I, I really wanted it to feel truly like a boutique, so I actually even ordered a couple of these type of adjustable risers for the bags that hang. So, they come in a variety of finishes. I chose chrome, but you could find gold or black. Now on this side, I wanted the hanging. I had a little bit more depth on this side. You want at least 24 inches of depth to create an area in a den or spare room to hang clothes. Because you have to remember, you have to have enough space to fit the hanger from front to back and that it's not all jammed in there. Now this is very important. If you're doing it sort of a DIY project, measure your clothes from the top of the hanger to the bottom. There is an average height and it's different for everyone. So you want to make sure that you're, you're setting this so things will not drag on the ground and will fit just nicely. Of course, what's also just as important as storage is having an area to sit. So I added this ottoman here and the great part about this is it's easy to move. So if I want to use this space to do workouts in or anything like that, I have an ability to just push this aside. But for now, it's a really great piece. It's sturdy, it's comfortable. It gave me an area to add a little bit of accent. So I added some decorative pillows. And of course, this isn't just an ottoman. It actually converts from a chair back down. So convertible furniture in a space like this is also great. The whole purpose of this room is also to be a glam room. And what is a glam room without a makeup vanity? So now let me show you that. This space would not be complete, like I said, without a makeup vanity. That was the whole purpose first, was to have somewhere to sit and do makeup because I couldn't fit it in the master bathroom. So here, I simply added some cabinets, a remnant piece of stone, and of course, some good lighting. If you're gonna create a little built-in vanity, you wanna make sure you have some good lighting around the face. Another really important part when planning your glam room seated area is a comfortable seat. I chose to do a seat that had wheels because this way I could wheel it to the full length mirror or sit here and do my makeup. And I added a separate magnifying mirror and make this a little area to have makeup, perfumes, brushes, all of that stuff. 
So it completes the entire feel of the glam room space. Coming up on Soflo Home Project, adding storage with closets that look like furniture. We recently met with a homeowner that got so tired of their accordion shutters that they got rid of them on their own and they wanted to change out their windows with new hurricane impact glass. We're going to take a look at how everything turned out on today's Soflo Home Project. Welcome back to Soflo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're talking about all things closets and storage today. So we're covering every type of closet and how you can create some great storage areas in your own home. So I wanted to show you another option of closet and storage and that's more of this open concept closet. Sometimes you can simply find areas in your home that you can carve out for additional storage like I did here with these shoes. So when it comes to shoe storage, you basically need only about 15 to 16 inches from the wall to have enough room to house all of your shoes, no matter what size shoe you are. Just wanna share a quick tip also. I love to turn the shoes, one facing forward, one facing back, because that allows you to fit a little bit more when you're storing the shoes. So that's my favorite way. So in this case, I decided to leave the shoes as open storage. For one, I think that could be a decorative area and something we frequently need always so to easily access them. I left this open. But there are times where you don't want the entire closet open, especially if it's in a hallway of a bedroom or somewhere more in full view. So left the shoes open, but use some extra wall space to create closed storage. And behind these doors, are just some shelving. A perfectly organized space is a mixture of hanging for clothes, shelving for clothes and other objects. And as you can see here, I use this for a mixture of bags, hats, and a whole bunch of other things. I love using bins for organization. It helps contain the smaller items. Here I used it for small bags and wallets, but you could really put anything in there. And, and honestly, the best part about that is, if you don't like to be super neat, if you at least have a couple of bins, you could throw everything in there and it still looks contained and neat from the outside. So you could always carve out space for storage in your home. You just have to sit and measure and think about what it is that you need to fit in there. But if you feel you need additional closet space in the bedroom that doesn't look like a closet, I have got some great solutions for you. But first, let's see what Tak Renata from FHIA has for us today. Normally when we meet with homeowners that have accordion shutters, they literally have accordion shutters. Uh, in this particular circumstance with this family, they were so tired of how the accordion shutters operate or didn't operate that they got rid of them on their own and they wanted a solution. So in looking at all the options, of course, hurricane impact glass was really important and protecting their home and their family was really important. Uh, energy efficiency was really high on their list, but we also wanted to make sure we were making the best decision cosmetically as well. If they're going to make this investment in the home, we really want them to be really proud of the choices they made. So we went and change the style a little bit where right now they have a single hung window which means it opens from the bottom and it gives them uh, this divider here in the middle and obviously they have a horizontal bar across where the window opens and closes so uh, we wanted to change the look and really update the look of the home so we went with something that's a three section sliding window which will give them more of a picture window in the center and then give them a flanker that will open and another one that will open on the side. So I'm excited for them to see uh, how that decision turns out. Now that this opening is installed and everything's completed, the homeowner is really excited about how it turned out from a cosmetic standpoint. They love the new look of the home. We also were able to address a really concern for all of us, which was in case of a fire, the family needs to be able to get out safely whereas the last windows that were in here didn't give them a lot of clearance when they opened the window, it was difficult for them to get out. So with this window, we gave them the picture window they wanted in the middle, but the sides slide all the way open 
So you have this full clearance if you want to get out or if it's an emergency and you have to get out quickly, it gives you the adequate space to get out. We were able to accomplish everything we were looking for, update the look of the home cosmetically, provide better hurricane uh, protection, and make the home more comfortable and save money off our utility bills. So uh, the installation went perfectly, and I know they're really happy with how everything turned out. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So I promised I was gonna share with you guys some good ideas if you wanna add more closet space in the bedroom, but don't wanna build out the walls with drywall or anything else. And the perfect solution for that is a wardrobe cabinet. So wardrobes are super popular in Europe. They've been popular forever. And I think it's such a great look for that sleek and modern feel. Not only do wardrobe cabinets look pretty, but they give some really great functional storage. So just to give you the background on how you make this work, think about having a dresser in your room. If you have a dresser across from the bed, which is a very natural piece of furniture to have in that space, that's gonna take up at least 18 inches off of the wall in depth. To do a closet, you need at least 24 inches of depth. So we're talking about just six more inches off of the wall. If you did wardrobe cabinets, that would be 24 inches deep. So basically all of that empty space that typically would go on each side of a dresser is now storage, which is awesome because it gives you that additional closet space. Adding this doubles your storage and it looks good too. And you can even get creative with the hardware, adding pretty handles, introduce a new finish or match an existing wood or any other finish you have in your bedroom. And what I did over here is I, I didn't want to not have a dresser. That's still here, creating an area for a TV. And then not stopping there, the storage was even continued above, which is really great. Think about going wall to wall. On a wall that normally has a dresser, think about building it out. It not only looks good, but it functions well too. Coming up next, closet solutions that adjust to your needs as they change. Welcome back to Sofla Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are talking about closets, storage solutions, and way to organize your home better. And I wanted to share with you the two most common closets, and that's gonna be your walk-in and your reach-in closet. With the reach-in closet, accessibility and options to reconfigure is one of the most important things. So this particular storage solution is adjustable racking, and I think this is a great and inexpensive way to really create a closet that's gonna give you maximum options when it comes to reconfiguring space. So what was done here is a mixture of racks, hanging bars, drawers, and all of this can be done with simple systems that you could buy at a hardware store that have the area where you're gonna anchor different bracket, whether it's hanging rods, whether it's drawers. And then you can mix and match and configure and move things time after time to create more room for clothes. Or perhaps your need is to use this as a combination closet of both things, which is kind of what's going on here. Some is storage, some is hanging clothes, so when it comes to designing closets, not every closet needs to be fully built in. When it's a guest room or a spare room or a kid's room or wherever you're adding that extra reach in closet, it's best to configure it in a way that changes as life changes. Your storage needs are going to shift and be different from year to year to year. So why not make it easy for yourself with systems like this to be able to mix and match now, if you don't have a reach-in closet, chances are you probably have a walk-in closet, and that is one of the other most common bedroom closets that can really truly be designed to suit your needs. So in condos, usually in the closet areas, they may drop the ceiling a bit here. It's seven feet high, but I have this height here, so that can be one foot more of storage, and that's crucial in the closet. I got at least four more pairs of shoes <laughs> stored there because of that. So here I built out for shoes, and on this side, I was able to kind of get an area for luggage. My thought was to always use this deeper section to fit luggage, bags, anything else. I created shelving for other items and then winter coats, because although I don't wear them here, I do wear them at times in the winter and I like to have them. So this became the coat closet as well. So let me show you a little further in here. I added the dangly crystal chandelier because it belongs in a girly closet. I really wanted to add that touch. When I planned this, 
I had to be mindful to create sections where I could still fit more shoes. So I used the bottom two shelves for shoe storage and then did a lot of hanging, long hanging in the back. I was able to get dresses and everything else that would hang at an appropriate height. Now this was the initial inside of the closet. There was nothing on this wall and it was just not useful. So because you still need a walkway, I thought I'm gonna take four inches. I bought these items online to hold all of the jewelry, all of the stuff that was always cluttered and bins and just thrown around. I love these. Use every inch of space on a wall in a closet. Don't ever let any area go uncovered because there is a way you can organize it. Next on SoFlo Home Project, closets provide storage for more than just clothes. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we have been talking about closets and storage, mostly in the bedroom, but there are a lot of other closets in the home, specifically one that's very important, and that's the utility closet. So I wanted to share some storage solutions on how you can make this work in your own home. Here, of course, it's hidden behind paneling. So sometimes that's a great way to camouflage it in a hallway such as this, where Everything is concealed behind sliding doors with no hardware and then all of the basic stuff from your cleaning supplies. I also, just a quick tip, I love turntables like this. It's a really nice way to be able to fully see everything, especially when cabinets are super deep. A mix of storage for tall things like mops and brooms and of course cleaning supplies and just about anything you might need in your utility closet. And then check this out. On the other side, the doors reveal the washer dryer. This allowed me to fully be able to access the stack of a washer dryer and have additional room to store all of the stuff. So, and from ironing boards to steamer to washing detergent, this type of configuration is a great way to have both your utility closet and your washer dryer. And then of course, hiding it all behind closed doors. Even the HVAC closet is hidden behind here at the end. So think about if you have a hallway washer dryer closet set up, think about concealing it behind some doors. So of course in condos, the washer dryer sometimes is in a closet, but there are other areas and homes where you have an actual laundry room and we have not forgotten about those storage solutions. There's a lot of great ways that you could take advantage of that space and make it super functional. So we wanted to show you guys a bunch of great ideas when you're designing your laundry room. So first of all, when you have a utility sink, usually you might want to do a decorative backsplash, but how about taking the tile all the way up to the ceiling like they did here? And they actually bought it around the entire side of the room. So if you have a clothesline or hanging things to dry, the walls are fully protected. And of course it's decorative too. And now, how about double stacking your washer dryers? If you have a lot of laundry, this is a great way to display it. Looks beautiful, fully built in. The laundry room is also a great place to have that spare refrigerator if you have the room. And here is a great space for all of your extra drinks. So if you have a large enough laundry room, sometimes you might even want to incorporate another countertop that could function as a flat surface for folding and open space underneath it to have any hampers, baskets, or bins. And so when you're designing your laundry room cabinetry, you wanna get inventive and think about ways to maximize the space. So if you need additional trash bin storage, you could do a pull-out waste bin or a pull-out space that might actually function as hampers. So the laundry room doesn't have to be just a plain room to do laundry. It could be decorative and functional, and I hope this gives you a little inspiration. So that's about it for our storage solutions episode. And I hope that you guys got some great tips for your own home. Remember, storage needs to be functional, but it could also be beautiful so you can merge design and function together in that when you're planning it for your own home. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, a house feels like a home when it reflects your personality. We tour a beach condo restored by a homeowner who personalized every room. And now let's check in with Hunter Frankie from SoFlo Health and see what he has for us tomorrow. Hunter, what's going on? 
Hey there, Elena. This week on SoFlow Health, we are out in the Florida Everglades. Don't worry, it's not as far as you think. We'll show you how to get there and talk about why it's important for your health. Plus, we learn about sleep health on the world's most expensive bed. And if that isn't enough rest and recovery for you, we'll experience a futuristic touchless spa. We see how Publix took Greenwise to a whole new level and check in on one of SoFlow Health's very first guests. It's all tomorrow at 12.30 right here on Local 10 for SoFlow Health. I'll see you then. Thanks, Hunter. We will definitely be watching. And to our viewers at home, thanks for joining us this weekend. And we hope to see you again next Saturday for another episode of SoFlow Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlow Home. If you miss any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your own design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram.